Last but not least, in a full evaluation of the pelvis, we have to consider the movements that take place in the lumbar spine of L4 and L5. The intimate relationship is because due to the iliolumbar ligaments, as well as the multifidi, which span the lateral aspect of the posterior aspect of the sacrum. I can assess both rotation and lateral bending in a prone position by doing the following. My segmental contact point, I'm going to bisect the iliac crest. That's going to bring me the spinous of L4. From here, I'm going to palpate inferiorly, one spinous process. And basically, I'm going to be putting the thumb of my superior hand in the inner space between L5 and S1. I'm going to assess right rotation and right lateral bending. The easiest way to remember on how to do this is when I stand on the right side of the patient, I will be assessing both right rotation and right lateral bending. When you stand on the left side, you're assessing left rotation, left lateral bending. I'm going to assess for two things as we always do. Joint play, the freedom of movement between segments, and end feel. To assess end feel, I'm first going to bring the joint to pretension. In other words, take the slack out of the joint and then lightly spring through it to feel the resiliency of the normal joint or a lack of resiliency of a restricted joint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reach around and I'm going to grab the ASIS of the pelvis and I'm lightly going to begin to pull A to P, rotating the pelvis relative to the L5 segment. I don't really feel much separation And when I spring through this joint, it feels rather firm and rather hard. So, so far, rotation, uh, right rotation of L5S1 seems to be a little bit restricted. To assess lateral bending, what I'm going to do is I'm going to laterally bend the pelvis by abducting the leg or the lower extremity. To this end, I'm going to flex the knee. I'm going to cup the leg. And by abducting the leg, I'll abduct the pelvis which will laterally bend the spine. Uh, if you could, if you would, I'm just going to have you take these hands, just place them just alongside yourself, in other words, alongside your head. That's good. I'm going to assess two things, end play and joint play. As I laterally bend his pelvis, I do feel a little bit of movement, not that much. And when I spring through his contact, he still feels a little firm to me. So until I assess the other side, his right lateral bending is also affected. I'm going to go to the other side of the table now. Again, my finger is in between the L5 and the sacrum. I feel a little bit of separation between the two here and left rotation. And when I spring, although firm, he's a lot more giving than he was on the other side. So, so far it seems that the left rotation appears to be intact or relatively normal. To assess left lateral bending, once again I'm going to flex the knee. I'm going to cup the knee, and by abducting the hip, it will laterally bend the pelvis, which will laterally bend the spine. As always, I'm just looking for two things, joint play, the freedom of movement between two segments, and end feel the resiliency or lack of resiliency as I spring through that joint. In this case, he has a degree of both joint play. I feel independent movement between the two segments. And in terms of end feel, he's a little bit giving. So it seems that he has a problem more so in right rotation and right lateral bending. I then can always assess L4 as well by just rising my thumb and repeating the procedure using the L4-5 segment. And that would be a comprehensive or full evaluation of the pelvis, in this case in a prone position.